Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna be doing three freezer meal preps. And these are all for a crock pot or instant pot. These specifically that I made, I'll tell you guys how long they'll be in for the crock pot. We're going to be making some black bean sweet potato turkey chili. You can totally make this a vegetarian as well. Just take out the turkey. And then we have apricot chicken with string beans and chicken fajitas as well. So if you guys want to see how I put these together, then keep on watching. As always, if you guys like these types of videos, please give it a big thumbs up. It lets me know what you guys want to see more of and subscribe to my channel for more. It really helps me out as well. All right, so let's get started. So for the apricot chicken recipe, we are mincing up some garlic in this handy kitchen tool. I'll link it down below for you guys because it is honestly a lifesaver. I'm putting in some chicken here and don't come at me for not washing my chicken. I've read both things for, you know, you should wash your chicken and then you should not wash your chicken um, in hopes of not spreading any more bacteria. So you do you. I don't know what is right or wrong anymore. I added some string beans into the Ziploc bag as well as some apricot jam. And this just adds that nice apricot flavor to it. And you just want to make sure to mix this all up so everything can marinate nicely. So make sure there is no air in there so everything lays down flat in your freezer and just save some space. And I made two of each of these by the way so I kind of split the recipe. So now we are moving on to some chicken fajitas. I'm cutting up a red and green bell pepper here. And I'm also going to be slicing up an onion. Choose if you want to do smaller or bigger sizes. That's really up to you. And then I'm doing all the spices. So we have one tablespoon of chili powder, two teaspoons of cumin, and then we're gonna have one teaspoon of pepper which is honestly my favorite spice ever besides garlic and then we are adding in that garlic as well and a little bit of um, honey or maple syrup whichever you choose and then I'm going to be squeezing a full lime for its juices so this adds a nice touch to it as well Then you're going to want to mix that all up together so everything can kind of, you know, do its thing. So then we're going to assemble it. We're using a gallon Ziploc bag again. I've tried doing this with reusable ones, but they honestly just broke on me every time. So if you guys have any recommendations on that, please let me know. But put it in those onions and peppers and mix away. If you guys decide to mix it like this, which I found it easier, honestly, um, mixing it with having some air in the bag and then letting out the air for getting it ready to go into the freezer. But again, if you guys have any recommendations for reusable bags that will freeze really well and not break and not stain or smell and, you know, do weird things, let me know down below. I would really, really appreciate it. And here I am just labeling how long it needs to sit in the crock pot for. These are all crock pot meals, by the way. And this one will sit 48 hours on low. And I just have two dinners ready for this. So I definitely would label it. You can even label when you have made them if you feel like you're not going to use them right away. So you know how long it's been sitting in your freezer, honestly. So I'm going to use the same kitchen gadget for onions. And this is great for chopping onions. We use this weekly. And I'm a person who cries always when chopping onions. So this has saved my eyes, okay? Um, so we are making black bean sweet potato chili now. So after mincing three cloves of garlic, we are adding in some chili powder, one tablespoon of that, and one teaspoon of cumin. I'm cutting up two sweet potatoes here. You want to make sure to peel them as well as dice them. Make sure you are cutting them all the same size because you want to make sure they're all cooking kind of at the same time.
Now I'm just trying to label these before and this is four hours on low in the crock pot and I'm writing down what it actually is. Sometimes you get lost in your freezer if you make so many freezer meals and you're trying to guess what you actually put into that bag. So definitely um, write everything down. And now time to assemble once again. I'm putting in that sweet potato. We're putting in that onion. And then we are also going to be putting in those black beans. I'm also going to be adding in some diced tomatoes here. You don't want to drain them at all so the can just goes straight in. And then here is our seasoning that we put together. And then lastly, two cups of vegetable broth or if you want to use chicken broth, whatever type of broth um, can work here. And that's pretty much it. And of course, shake it all up, lay it all flat, and this is going to be ready to go into your freezer. I made six freezer meal preps in total, and they're all for the crock pot. So I hope you guys enjoy one of these recipes. So we are all done with our freezer meal prep. This is what you're going to eat for dinner, okay? I did this pretty much when Jaden was sleeping. Um, during his nap, it took me about an hour to do. Just make sure you have all your grocery items on hand and make sure you know what recipes you're going to do. And of course, you can double, triple, quadruple, whatever you want to do with each recipe. I made two of each, but really up to you. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will leave down the recipes below for you in the description box. It really saves time during the week to make dinner. And I specifically do this as well just so I can spend more time with Jaden throughout the day instead of worrying about what's for dinner. So hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye. Say bye.